All right, so we're gonna be making an astromech. So this will be like a multi-video project, gonna be building like each part of the component for like a video, but don't worry, it's gonna be good. Like this video, I'm gonna be making the claw, which I have right here. It's a pretty cool claw. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I made it. All right, so the first thing I had to take care of was the CAD design, which you see right here. All right, so you see right here, I got the first arm. Even animated the joints, so opens, closes. About to print this out and uh, see how it works. All right, so I just finished putting together the first arm. Uh, doesn't work too well, so I'm redesigning it. Cause that's not supposed to happen. But it does look good though. All right, so just finished printing out the V2. Animate the joints too, works the exact same way. Just a few cool changes. So you notice it looks a lot like the initial one, but I fixed so many things. Like it was, I, it just like, let me just show you. This right here is the V2. So you notice compared to the other one, I have this angle right here, which basically prevents it from wobbling a lot, which is beautiful. Like I can't tell you how amazing that is. All right, so you see the wobble on the first one. All of that is gone just because I added this crease right here or this uh, triangle piece right there. And compared to the old one, you just see it's an overall refined design. Like, it's literally the same setup, two MG90 servos at the bottom, uh, the double hinge, I don't even know what those are called, but basically two arms right here, another arm so the thing can stay horizontal or perpendicular. And yeah, literally the same principle, just a more refined design. Here you got, I'm using the metal rods, I'm using popsicle sticks because of the measurements. Here, everything fits perfectly. And yeah, and this is me just testing it out. I tested it out on a pencil, some calipers, the other arm, uh, some pliers, just to see how much weight it could actually carry, even a Nerf ball, just to see how it dealt with uh, spherical objects. So I was pretty uh, happy with how it worked due to the fact that like, it only has one set, it only has two settings. So I wanted to see how it would work with gripping things. It only has like those two settings, open and close. But it turns out, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm using two servos and they're like uh, metal gears. They just stop at uh, whatever they want to hold. Like for the Nerf ball, it just stopped at the size of the Nerf ball. For the uh, other thing, it just stopped at that size. So, so I wasn't necessarily expecting it to work like that, but it works like that. And I'm not gonna complain because it works good, so. I'm happy with how it turned out. So the next video will be a Nerf cannon. Like I already have it designed. Almost finished, I'm on the second prototype right now. I wanna show you guys, but I'm not gonna show you guys. So just check out the TikTok, it's on the TikTok. So I'm have the TikTok right here. Just check, go check it out and yeah. Or the link will be in the bio in the link tree account. So. so if you're from the YouTube channel, check out the TikTok. If you're from TikTok, subscribe to the YouTube. And yeah, see you guys.